Hi guys, welcome back to Queen Variety's channel. On today's episode, you will learn how to make pepper spicy gizzard. We are using precisely the turkey gizzard for this video illustration. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel to get instant notifications whenever I upload any video. Kindly share my video with your friends, loved ones or anybody you want to share it with. Now let's get right into it. Thank you. On my wet surface, I have placed um, various ingredients. Let me introduce you to them. This plate here is a combination of bell peppers, the red, green, and yellow. Over here, I've got um, three scotch bonnet peppers, garlic, ginger, and one onion. And I have split the onion into two. I will use half for steaming, and the remaining half I will use um, later during the sauce preparation. I've got some spices. And these are different spices that I have available right now in the house. So please use any spice of your choice. Any one that you think you don't like here, remove it and use the one that you prefer. Um, half teaspoon of um, black pepper, uh, one teaspoon of oregano, one teaspoon of curry powder, one teaspoon of paprika, half teaspoon of base. Here is some stock cube. This is precisely no. You can use any cube. Of your choice what I have here is two fresh tomatoes and then four tatashi peppers after taking my time to clean this gizzard very well you can see it is neatly cleansed it was to add salt here and allow it to sit because I want the salt to penetrate deeply into the gizzard before we continue the cooking process so if you have time on your side I suggest them you do the same thing so this gizzard I will break um, one pair of um, no cubes remember I told you I have salt here so I wouldn't be adding any salt I will now add all the spices I introduced earlier on I want your gizzard to be super tasty so the spicing process is very important. Garlic. I will throw in some garlic here. I've also gone ahead to crush uh, one scotch bonnet pepper just to add a little heat here. I'll throw that in. Onions. I'll just um, use my knife and slice in the onion inside the pot. I will just cover the pot and allow this gizzard to cook with its um, own juices. I've always told you that whenever you're cooking your meat at this point, do not add any water. We are going to cook for 10 good minutes. After that, if we need water, I will add. If I don't need water, I will not add. Earlier on, I introduced the peppers and tomatoes to you. What I'm going to do now is to mince it. You can see my food processor is already set. At the same time, I'm going to combine the peppers, garlic, and ginger with the onion here and also mince it together. Adding everything inside the food processor, I'll cover it up. Now I'll blend it in a coarse form. added any drop of water inside them this place trust me i have not added nothing inside here it means i'm not going to add extra water in case your water is not going to complete cooking your gizzard you can now add extra water so now i will cover this pot now and cook it for extra 10 good minutes using a cast iron pot so it cooks very very fast you can as well cook longer if your pot is not like mine While I'm still waiting for the gizzard to complete um, its cooking process, let me use that time and then prep the vegetables. Exactly 20 good minutes now. If you check your own and this is not ready, you can continue cooking. For me, I don't like eating um, soft meat. Okay, so as you can see, I'm transferring it to my baking tray. We are going to put it inside the oven and then grill it. If you want to fry, you can also fry it if you prefer. 
Stage of preparation, the geyser is in the oven and um, grilling. Right now, can I show you that this oil is heated? So I'll pour in the peppers inside it. While the gizzards are still in the oven grilling, the peppers will be taking care of itself in this angle. Pairs of not cube because I want this to be very tasty. At this stage, I'll repeat the same spices I used them earlier. Right, is um, oregano, paprika powder, about one teaspoon of paprika powder, one teaspoon of curry powder, a little pinch of um, basil, like half teaspoon of basil. You can see that, just a little pinch black pepper I am cooking on medium heat so I will stir the pot very well and then cover it up and allow it to cook down for 10 to 15 minutes until all the moisture in the sauce dries completely and begins to fry 10 to 15 minutes later friends oh la la this is what we are having you can see that the sauce is perfectly fried as you can see oil coming at the surface that means um, it is ready this is the stage i have to just add a little salt salt to your own taste after adding the salt i'll just scoop in a little stock from the liquid that um, we use in cooking the gizzard i want the stew to take some of the flavor from the gizzard so i'll add in some of the stock just a little bit of that at this pot for extra five minutes just so that all the stock we added here will infuse inside the sauce and then i'll bring out the gizzards from the oven five minutes later and guys we have almost come to the end of this recipe can you see how the appearance is looking yes this is what you want to have at this point in time i've also gone ahead to bring out the gizzard from the oven this is what it looks like have to leave it um, in between this grilled for like 15 to 20 good minutes the same period we're using to cook this sauce okay guys so before i add the gizzard i'll just take out a little sauce this is optional just take it out if you want it depends on how you want the appearance of your gizzard to be yes so i'm just taking out a little sauce and then i'll use this one to coat the gizzard where the marriage has to now happen <laughs> if you don't like how big they are you can slice them into little little sizes you can also put it inside the skewer and then eat it through the skewer just take your time and saturate every piece of this um, gizzard with the sauce you want it to feel the impact from the sauce you see how beautiful this gizzard is looking so cover it again for just two to three minutes let it sink into that place after two to three minutes we'll just add the vegetables and serve three minutes later and finally finally i tell you we have come to the end of this recipe it has dulled in nature all the sauce has penetrated deeply please you should be doing this on a very low heat okay you don't want to use high heat though otherwise everything will just get burned right. christmas is coming the new year season the celebration season is here these are some of the recipes that you can serve to your guests your friends even to your family anybody you want to serve it with they will have a beautiful experience mm? i tell you all right so now i'll pour in the peppers <laughs> yes i love my peppers to be crunchy super crunchy so you don't want it to wilt i'll add some of that onion for beautiful color cover it and give it two good minutes and then i'll serve it guys so two good minutes later the vegetables are now wilted not too it's still crunchy but not too too wilted 
So now I will go forward and say. All right, my beautiful people. Thank you so much for joining me in today's episode. I really hope you have enjoyed today's video, guys. Trust me, this recipe tastes incredibly amazing. My God, the depth of flavor is unspeakably delicious. Feel free to subscribe to my channel at the same time if you try these recipes remember to give me feedback and follow me on my social media platforms until i come your way next time bye and remember variety is the spice of life